You watch your David Graham Sports Report. Contrary to what you may have heard, the diner is not closing. Let me repeat that again. The diner on Jacksboro Pike is not closing. As a matter of fact, the diner has been serving this area for seven years and plans on serving you for many more years to come with daily luncheon specials, fresh homemade desserts, and they still take great big food orders. So, let me repeat this one more time. The diner is not closing. So, having said that, we'll see you soon at the diner on Jacksboro Pike, home of great food, great people, and great service. When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. You're watching Daddy Glenn's Sports Report. Well, Monday started out bad for the Cougars who have pretty much owned the Beavers of Carnes here of late, but not on Monday night as we took one on the Chinny Chin Chin, 13-4. Bo Ferris started on the mound for the Cougars and it seemed he could never get into a groove as he had control problems all night long and the home plate umpire did not help. He gave up three in the first, five in the fifth. Tate McGee came on in relief in the sixth and gave up three in the sixth and two in the seventh inning but that was enough. We got two runs in the bottom of the third back when it was still a game as Austin Boyd and Tate McGee scored on a double by Bo Ferris. We also scored two in the fifth inning as Bo Ferris and Tucker Kane scored on a base knock by Andrew Evans, but that was it. We didn't threaten after that. Our bats still haven't come around yet as we're young and swing at balls and take strikes. And that comes from being experienced. Our record now is two and six and 0-5 in the district. We had a game Tuesday night against Middlesboro. It wasn't on the schedule, but we went up anyway to see if the Cougars could maybe wriggle out a win out of the Yellow Jackets of Middlesboro, who always have a tough team, and they didn't have to prove it, though, Tuesday night, as our Cougars gave them almost every run they scored. We lost to the Yellow Jackets at last count, 10-4. At one point, we had a 4-1 lead as our Cougars held serve in the top of the first inning, came in and scored three in the bottom of the first. We added one more run in the bottom of the second, and we were cruising along until the fourth inning. With a commanding 4-1 lead, Andrew Evans on the mound. He got a fly ball to left field. It hit the glove and popped right back out and hit the ground. And before we could record the third out of that inning, the Yellow Jackets scored six runs. We left at the 10-4 mark, as I said. I called it a loss, dumping us down to 2-7 and seven for the season with some heavy hitters coming up in the way of tough district foes that we can't make these boo-boos against. Ryan Browning has a very thin cupboard as he doesn't have a deep bullpen or a deep bench for that matter. And it got thinner Tuesday night as a player left the team and probably won't be back. Frustrating times right now for the baseball team with only three seniors and two who actually see the field. Our boys in blue and orange will struggle unless they can pull it all together in time for the Panthers of Powell who come into Brown Archer Field Wednesday afternoon at 5.30. Changing gears, Billy Ann Evans informs us of a couple of track meets coming up for the middle school and high school. She thinks, now she's not sure, but she thinks there's a middle school meet on the 15th and a high school meet on the 16th, both at El Hope Dossett Stadium. We'll get over there and check them out and maybe get our minds off of the troubles of the baseball team. Who knows? We still haven't been a, we still haven't been able to get up to Jellico to check out the Blue Devils baseball team, but we will as soon as we can get up there. The Campbell County Youth Basketball Championships will play Tuesday, April the 9th at West Lafayette Gym starting at 6 p.m. Keep reminding you of that. Our next broadcast of the Cougars baseball team will be Thursday, April the 4th against Carter, and that will be at Campbell County High School. And that's a 5.30 start, so we'll probably come on around 5.15. So log on or tune in to 14.50 a.m. and don't miss a thing. Hey, you stay right there. There's a lot more to come. And we want to remind you to please go see our sponsors, and you guys stay tuned. There's a lot more to come right here on WLAF.